Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, and welcome to The Town of Light. It's a horror game, as you can maybe tell from the ambient noise that I've probably turned down too low for you to be able to hear anyway. Actually, there's something right there. Anyway, um, this is a game that keeps popping up on my Twitter feed, possibly because I follow the developers, but also because they're really good at uh, some self-promotion. They have a really- oh, nice little bit of rustle there. Nice rustle. Good tree. Um, the developers are really good at keeping the game sort of top of mind with some actual, you know, uh, not not just, hey, buy our game, buy our game. They, they you know, keep referring to uh, the lore and they keep retweeting this uh, picture of, you know, a woman being dragged screaming away in a straitjacket and something. So it sounds like something, you know, for the kids, something to, you know, curl up and, um, you know, have a cup of tea with. So let's get straight into it. The Town of Light is based on real events, places, and research concerning mental illness and the life of patients in lunatic asylums from the beginning of the 20th century until their closure. It contains stories which may be disturbing. We're down with that. The characters and names are fictitious. As any references to Bapati Hambabambara, but please note that mental health services have radically improved around the world. If you think you may have psychological problems, please speak to a local doctor or specialist. Um. Preferably one who doesn't talk that way. What's happened? Um... What is this place? Well, it's not a good place, but maybe people are apparently having fun around you. Dead. Maybe you are, maybe not. I can't see any light. Maybe I am dead. If you were dead, you wouldn't be talking this much, would you? I can't get up. What's going on? I can't What's move. To me? There's no one here, but... These noises. Well, you're definitely not dead then. God, my head is killing me. I can't keep my eyes open. Ah, it's a sleep simulator. It's not a walking simulator. We just go back to reality fades away and my skin has gone. Every breath of wind is excruciatingly painful. Sounds fun. Inspired by real events. I doubt it. Well, Okay, Volterra Tuscany 2016. And here we fucking are. That's a bit choppy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to adjust a couple of settings. Hang on. Okay. Having had a bit of a dick around with the settings, we are now running at 30 frames per second in 720p and not 1080p. I guess you have to draw the line somewhere. The game is running a bit more smoothly and my uh, OBS is not overloading itself and just huffing and straining under the pressure. Um, you know, this is a Unity game, so uh, I guess some compromise is to be expected. Um, I actually had a chat with a, a friend of mine who's who's a game developer, and he says that, you know, um, Unity games tend to run slower because the programmers and developers have to program in all the fancy bits, like, you know, environmental effects and uh, shaders and renders and all that, uh, when compared to, like, um, Unreal. Uh, because uh, the Unreal Engine kind of comes pre-packaged with that. Not that this is in, in any way a slight on the dudes who made this game, or the nice lilting piano music in the background, certainly. Um, it's just that Unity games tend to run a bit more shit. There's just uh, no two ways about it. Wired Productions proudly presents this walk in the park. Very nice. I even found a little playground earlier, I think you saw that. The Town of Light. Well, there is a very, uh, you know, abundance of very nice light, and apparently a dog turd. Awesome. This is what we need to see in our games. Ooh, let's go in here. Is there a nice little bit of lake down here? Possibly a bench, somewhere where we can sit and have a, a cup of tea. The aforementioned cup of tea. Why am I going down here? It's just like a, a contrary nature. I just want to, you know, go off the beaten path. I just want to explore. And I think, like back up on the uh, on the road there, the the main credits are just like, dude. Um, seriously, we had like a like a plan. We had something we wanted to do. What was that? Did something just scurry along the? Or was that just a bit of um, um, texture e thing? Because I had to turn the uh, texture detail down as well. It's running at mid detail. Oh, this is the playground I was at earlier. All right, all right. 
Ah, we shall head the opening credits off at the pass and <laughs> climb these stairs. Or actually float up these stairs. Awesome. This place. This place indeed. Time. Uh, and a Maybe. lot of bushes and plants in my face. Oh, hello. Well, this is certainly closed off. There is nothing to do. Oh, that looks very nice. A lot of papers scattered around. Someone was in a hurry and didn't have time to finish the book they were working on. Dissertation, book, uh, crosswords, I don't know. Crosswords tossed out in a huff. Can I jump? No. Oh, that is very nice. There does seem to be a lot of vegetation, though. Uh, and that's kind of making it hard to see where I'm supposed to go. Maybe this door is... Yeah, there we go. Oh, that is very nice. Oh, that is exactly what we want in life. Oh, and the, uh, and the footsteps, they echo around me. Oh, good. So this is where they, um, you know, had uh, classes. This is where they would all sit and clap as we told them stories about how many syringes they were going to... Oh, maybe this is just a waiting room. Yes, yes, that, that, that would make more sense because, um, you know, it's... Uh, why can, why can I open the windows? That's weird. I was just gonna say there's there's like open windows here, but they, there are bars in front of the windows So uh, even even the people in the waiting room, you know waiting to just sort of drop off their loved ones here We can't fucking deal with this person anymore. Can't uh, you know leap out the window if, if they for some reason wanted to do that, okay a a coin How does this work? Oh, I just pan this around with the mouse and Oh, why can I do this? Interesting. I can zoom. Ah, and there's that uh, fabulous uh, low texture thing again. Cool. Okay, very nice. Ooh, inventory of objects of... Inventory of objects of a patient upon admission. Charity congregation. Okay, he was carrying a sweater, shirt... A pair of underwear, a pair of socks, shoes, diapers, skirts, dresses, trousers, no, none of that. No overcoats, no golf shirts, no aprons. Apparently a lot of chefs were being admitted here. Uh, so they felt they need to have a certain um, uh, label for those. The assistant, the director, Volterra on the day. Okay. Wait, wait. Uh, that was uh, Rene on the day of 12.03, uh, the 12th of, uh, 12th of March, 1938. Well, that was a while ago. Why are we spelunking around this in the year of our Lord 2016? No one knows. It's just a thing we do. What's this then? F. Toggle flashlight. Ah. Thank you. Can I turn the lights on? There is no power. The master switch is near the calm women ward. Now that sounds like a place I want to be. <laughs> um... The woman is in a state of great agitation, so she's not in the calm, calm ward. She curses her three-year-old daughter for having ruined her life. Oh, Irene. Jesus, 1926 even. She wanted to take us away. That damn kid wanted to kill us. She's the devil, I tell you. She's the devil herself. She destroyed my ability to give life. She left her sister in silence. Silence is scary. <laughs> okay, the mother explains that her husband, Eric K., worried about her daughter, called a doctor who, noticing the state of the woman and the potential danger to her daughter, urgently initiated the pro procedure for admission. The silence is scary! The woman was admitted to observation in the single room, not because she was dangerous, but in view of her social class, it seemed the most appropriate choice. Ah, good. Poor people over there don't care. Let me, if, if, if I hear one more sound, it's the belt. You know it's the belt. The mother has provided a generous donation to this institution in order to find a more suitable accommodation for her daughter. Ah, so the ethics were alive and well in Italy 1926 when, uh, when we were talking about the mentally ill. Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie. Well, that's a nice place. The only thing I remember clearly is Charlotte, my doll. Who are we? And again, what is... This is not like a family outing, family location kind of thing. Uh, was she having a nightmare at the start when she woke up? Was that like a thing? Also, is that an elevator? Can I go there? Uh, well, <laughs> oh, the, oh, again, we have to go to the comm ward. 
Wait, where is this? Where is this? This is nothing. Cool. Well, there's a power box here. And someone painted a nice little face on it. Cool. Um, is this the thing I'm looking for? Uh, did that do anything? Well, the green light is on. So I'm guessing that's a good thing. Tranquille! Yes, calm woman. Ward number two. So, so I, I've just turned the power on. Um, I, I just thought that was a dead bird for a moment there, but it's, it's nothing. What in the shit happened in here? Okay. Excuse me? Excuse me? I heard a noise. I heard a noise. Do not noise me. Whoever is obviously not down there, because that's just a, that's just a piece of paper. Those are not glowing eyes or anything. Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. What kind of world would you assume we live in? Um, any life in you now? Well, shit. Yeah. Okay, so that was not a door. That was just the counterweight. Oh. So, uh... So if we're in a, in a sort of dull uh, place in our lives, we can just take... Ow! We can just slam the fucking elevator door in our faces. Um, cool, pottery, and someone was having a party in here. Ooh, this cigarette, I doubt these are from the 1920s. Uh, la manutenzione è affidita la dita volterania. I don't actually speak Italian, so, um, but I am pretty sure we are less than five people and we weigh under 400 kilograms. So I feel confident in taking us to floor number one. It does not work because the door is open. Well, I'm sorry. See if we can slam it in our face again. There we go. Since there's no elevator music, I have to make my own. Ta-da! We have arrived at Funny Town, um, and we could have taken the stairs. There's not. There's. It's not like there's anything preventing us from taking the stairs, so, uh, okay, so that was just a bit of extra. What was that? So something just went- Let's search the wards on the upper floor. Okay. There's a plan on the wall which shows their location. Who are you talking to? Um, there's a plan. Would it be this, uh, nice portrait of a harlequin and three people ogling her? This giant harlequin. Mm. Possibly not. Oh, there's the plan. Here we go. Uh, stairs, surgery, surgical ward, gynecology, radiology, semi-agitated ward. Is there a full-on agitated ward? Surgery is inpatient's eye clinic. And number 10 is just blank. Laundry, patient storeroom, and archive nurse's room. You are here at number one. Uh, cool. Is there like a... Um, yeah, that's the radiology room. Is, is there like a uh, objective list or uh, just anything telling me exactly what I am exploring uh, or why at least? Very nice view. I will give it that. But I, I'm... Nate doesn't want to abandon her. Who? Who in the fuck are you talking about? Renee, are you in here? Anyone? This is how you shake hands in Italy. <laughs> this is this is not how you shake hands in Italy. Ah, if you pinch the neck, it he will spontaneously bleed. Uh, a lot of surgical stuff going on here. All very very nice. Uh, not here to pilfer any of it. Apparently, though it would make some nice decoration at home. I'm sure in the Gimp Dungeon. Mm, that does not look... Oh, God. With the stirrups and everything. Yes. And, uh, even though it is lacking a uh, cushion, it is probably for the best. I don't think the comfort level would be improved with a cushion. Nothing to do in here, I think. Well, whoever is Nobody making that... says we can't. Let's find Charlotte. Okay, so who's Charlotte now? We've got Charlotte and Renee... And our protagonist seems to know a lot more about what she wants out of life than we do. Why did the violin music just start up? 
Hi, creepy fucking doll. What is what is your deal? Mummy took good care of Charlotte. She tucked her in. Mummy had the devil eyes. Cuddles the black kisses. cold eyes of nothingness. She was very affectionate and loving. And then she tossed it in the fire for no fucking reason. Charlotte, that surprised me. I didn't understand. Uh, At what first, now? I was quite scared. I was afraid that she wanted to hurt me. But you're just growing a hand out of the back of your head. Mom would abandon Is there her. some... Now it can't be the multiple because personality I thing. Because that's too easy. Okay, did everything just get dark there for a second? Add it to the synopsy menu. I am... It's cold and it's dark. Look, Look she's, cold. she's cold. She'll get ill. She'll get ill. Well, this she fucking... Can take care of her. Nobody can stop us. Okay, you are freaking me out, Charlotte lady. Charlotte's a good girl. Charlotte's a very nice girl. Would you st Jade acts a synopsis menu. Experiences, Renee's diaries, memories, medical records. What? What is this? This is better not be an instruction on how to escape the horde of ghosts that are bound to show up at some point. Um, also, it got darker. And... Uh, now we're carrying around this fucking doll. Okay, let's find a crib for it. Jesus. Um, this this seems kind of warm. Those lamps could make the room warmer. But Charlotte's not happy. She doesn't feel well. What does Charlotte want from me? Charlotte's being a little bit picky, I feel. You can't just put her down here, right? Do we have to shove something in under the... No? No, this will not do. Charlotte, Charlotte, no, no, no. We must find you a, a huggy box. We will put you in one of these boxes, see? And then we will carry you down and put you under a heat lamp. Which is where all the good girls go. Go on, Charlotte. Get in the cupboard. No one will ever know. No? Help! Help! I'm carrying around a doll and my protagonist keeps telling me I'm being weird. What in the shit? Don't you fucking do that. You son of a bitch. Help! Help! Things are fucking creeping me out. I saw a wheelchair on the ground floor. It's comfortable there, and we can put Charlotte somewhere warm. Okay, so it's giving me hints when I get in here, but this fucking timeline thing is in the way. So, uh, the, um... Uh, so the narration, uh, uh... So all I got is the narration to go. Anyway, there's a wheelchair on the ground floor. Okay, so she basically just got sick of me, uh, walking around in a fucking circle. And decided to just, uh, flat out tell me the answer. All right, Charlotte. Well, how is that gonna warm her up? All right, we'll stick her there. God. Charlotte will be comfy here. But not but warm. It's cold. No, no. Yes, it's cold. exactly. Don't shiver, Charlotte. The cold this will is go getting away. right up in away. there. Let's push Charlotte up to the top floor. Well, the second floor. Anyway, no, let's wheel her up into that little room. Here you go, Charlotte. I'm getting a little wobbly there. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We're gonna take you somewhere nice and cozy. It's all going swimmingly. Are you good? Are you good back there? I'm just gonna assume you're fine. Alright, let's get you... Got. I'm stuck in something! Stuck in the fucking door. This is such a chore. Go on, go on. Are you alright, my sweet? Here we go, here we go. Let's just fry you up like a nice the baked cold potato. Is now. Yes, everything is good. The light, the, the warmth. warmth, the we white, the sad cold eyes. Will go away. It has to. Yeah, we'll just sit here and cook. It'll be now fine. We can enter the ward where everything started. Oh, we can, can we? 
Well, that sounds fabulous. Pleasure H to receive help. It all help. began in the observation ward on the ground floor. Okay, observation. That wouldn't be you, would it? Observazione. We can enter the observation. Oh, oh, shit. Bright light. Did everything just get really fancy all of a sudden? What in the shit? Uh, okay, okay. Don't want me in there? Okay, I can see that. Um, yes, we're gonna speed this up because this hallway is getting longer and longer, isn't it? And the floor just fucking vanished on us. Why are we going down here? That was crazy. Okay, ne needy, needy, nifty. Yeah, that's um, that's mighty peculiar. Can we scale the wall as well? Oh, good. We're fucking Spider-Man up in this bitch. Okay, what lies beyond yonder corner? I. Whoa, shit! That is some freaky geometry going on here. I'm I'm quite into this, actually. I love that. It's like being stuck in an M MC Escher drawing. Okay, the beds are on the ceiling. Now they're on the floor. It's kind of bright, actually. Uh, is this what having an aneurysm looks like? Where are we going? Apparently we're on the surface of the sun or inside an oven. Well, it does get warm in Italy. Merciless light. Again, because it was 40 degrees I was outside. 16 years old, and I was afraid, Celsius. Always afraid. A fear that wore me down. I needed help, but I couldn't speak. Because you were locked in an insane asylum. It's hard to say an insane asylum. Everything, even thinking. And also light, and chairs, and dolls, and mom, and. They said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away, where I would get better. They lied. This is where we stuck, uh, you I know. stopped living in there. <laughs> yeah. This is where we they stuck people we were just and stripped off not, all my you know, clothes, entirely happy everything. with. This is back when hysteria was a I thing. I tried Jesus. to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed. I was alone with my nightmares. Uh, and no it one gave you a hairbrush anymore. either. It was madness. See, this is the thing. They just stuck people in insane asylums that they didn't really and care for, mad. and that actually drove them insane, it which is what kept Texas. them there, and on and on. Uh, so that's, uh, that's a bit creepy. That isn't very creepy. Um, so are we the protagonist here who has... He says we're back in time. Uh, like, did we come back to the insane asylum that we left, or uh, and now we're just sort of reliving everything and we've actually gone insane? Hi. She was my only hope. Hi. How how how, how are you? It's very nice to see. That smile is killer. And more ways than one. And her smile kept me alive. That strangely jokerish smile. What am I supposed to do? Nothing. It just fades to white. I want you imagine you waking up and someone's just leering at you like this. You would not go. That smile. It's keeping me alive. I'm digging it. Keep smiling. Did I just have a lie down in my old dormitory or whatever? New chapter. We are on chapter three. I just want to have a look around. It is nighttime. Yeah. Okay. That is excellent. That is just what we need. I think I'm going to end this right here. I think oh, there are a lot of que questions. There are a lot of uh, errors in pronunciation, but there are mostly a lot of questions. As in, what in the fuck are we doing here? Um... Why have we come back here? Certainly not just to rescue a doll and put it under a heat lamp. And why did we go to bed in our um, old... If we, in fact, were 
the uh, uh, person that we saw in the intro. First of all, we would be very, very old at this point. That was the 1920s. This is 2016. So I'm I'm bad at no with numbers and at numbers, but uh, um, we would I doubt we would be as spry as the protagonist is. I mean, look, look, she can twirl. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a lot of questions. Um, maybe some of them will be answered uh, because I really want to keep playing this. So I am uh, I'm making this uh, Thursday's um, series until you know it's done. So uh, please, uh, I'll I'll hopefully see you back next Thursday for more The Town of Light or the town of whatever the hell that is. Um, and please uh, like, subscribe, do whatever you kids do, but do leave me a comment because I really love the comments and maybe some of you have played this before. Please don't spoil it in the comments. I know some of my other YouTube friends uh, have a, a hell of a time with uh, people who uh, insist on spoiling games in the comments. Please don't do that. I want to uh, experience this for myself. However, I would love to hear you know, suggestions on interpretations, if there's, you know, symbolism, anything you want to, let's have a good old book club thing going, because I'm, I'm really interested in that. So please, like, subscribe, do whatever, da, 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 da. and until uh, next Thursday, uh, for more Town of Light, I will see you around the Chrome stream. <laughs>